Hey guys, what's up? It's Bondi here. Today I've got a video for you on how to jailbreak the iPhone 3G, iPhone 3G, iPhone 2G, iPod Touch first generation, iPod Touch second generation, not MC model. And so you cannot jailbreak the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch second generation, MC model, or iPod Touch 3G. Um, so, I'm just going to show you my 3G right here. iPhone. Okay. So, I just, um, okay, here, let's just get into this really quick. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to go ahead and go to this website. Link will be in the description. Um, I have a folder here called jailbreak iPhone 3G because I have a 3G but that's the software that I have you're gonna go to this website which I'll show you here in a second right here here it is it's called let's see if I can zoom in on that flexbrims.de slash iPod slash firmware and it's gonna take you to this page and it has all different types of software for both iPod like you don't want an iPod because you can't really jailbreak that you're gonna be looking at the iPhone and iPod Touch section here right there and if you see here it's gonna tell you if you click it's gonna tell you all the models since you can't jailbreak the 3GS you don't want it but you're gonna download um, 3.1.2 I, I don't know why it's just you have to download the 3.1.2 software okay so go ahead and download the 3.1.2 for the iPhone 3G just iPhone regular and iPod touch first gen and if you have a second generation not MC model go ahead and download that software let's go ahead and get out of there now next what you're gonna wanna do is I don't have a page for this but it's a mega upload I believe and you're gonna wanna download this red snow folder here it's called red snow mac 0 0.9.2 and it's got the red snow application in it okay so this is a very simple and easy process Okay guys, I'm back, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your iPhone, go ahead and plug it into your computer, which I'll show you right here. Okie dokie, you're going to... Oh wait, before I do this, I'll show you the software right here that I have. Go to General, About, and Version. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. 3.1.2 as you see right there okay so yes I have this already jailbroken but we're gonna jailbreak 3.1.3 connect your iPhone whatever iPhone whatever you have to your computer go ahead and open up iTunes okay um now what you're gonna do is you are gonna go ahead and download the 3.1.3 software and install it. Download and install. And it's going to take you through these steps. Uh, you have to agree. And I'll be back when this is finished, you guys, in about two minutes. So remember to keep watching this video. As you see, two minutes. So I'll be back. I'll turn this back on in two minutes. Alright, peace. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, just finished, and as you can see, let's see if you can see that. Come on. 3.1.3 firmware, right there. All right, you see that? Okay, on my iPhone. And yeah, it says it right there. Now what you're gonna go ahead and do. This is very key. You're gonna go ahead and um. Go ahead and turn off your iPhone right now, or whatever device you have. So go ahead and hold the power button, and slide to power off. Now make sure it goes off. 
here in a second. There's a little spinning wheel. Should go off here. And remember to make sure that your device is still connected to your computer. At this time, you can go ahead and quit iTunes. Okay. I gotta follow me step by step here. Go ahead and open up your um, jailbreak folder or whatever. Or you can just have these on the desktop, but I just put them in a folder. These two items here, you can just have them on the desktop, but I like to put them in a folder organized by like what I'm jailbreaking. So go ahead and do that. And now you're gonna open up your Red Snow Mac folder or whatever or whatever you're using, Windows or whatever. Go ahead and open up the Red Snow. Open that. Close the folder out. And here it is. Okay, welcome to Red Snow, blah, 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 all right, reserved and all that shit. And okay, right now I'm warning you guys, I don't take any part in what your, if your iPhone breaks or not. This is your decision if you want to do this, but this is it. What you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and click on this browse button here. Okay. And I figured this out. I tried doing it on the 3.1.3 firmware. But it didn't, it wasn't able to like get, it wasn't able to like process it. Go to where your firmware is located, click on wherever it is, and click on it, and hit the open button. Okay. Now it should say, please select the firmware, corresponding firmwares, and it says IPSW successfully identified. Okay. Next, you're going to go and click next. Okay, and it's downloading the kernel and doing all that crap now. Okay. So we'll let that go. This is this will only be a second right here. Okay. Next, it's going to come up with this page um for this. Install City over Robust Boot custom boot logo custom recovery logo already pwned. Just go ahead and do install Cydia. That's the only one you really want to choose. Uh, just because, I don't know, just because. And I think this is the part where you do DFU mode. So go ahead and click next and get ready to do DFU if this is it. And I'll show you guys how to do it here. Go ahead and click next. And, okay, it's just telling you right now the steps right here. Alright. And click next when you're both when your device is both off and plugged in. Okay, first thing you're going to do, this is the DFU. You're going to hold down your power button wherever it is. You're going to hold it down for like two seconds, I think it says. Then you're going to hold down the, you're going to keep holding the um, power button and then keep, um, then press the home button and keep holding them at the same time, like that, for like 10 seconds, I think it says. Then release the, the power button and keep holding this. So it should go something like this. You just hold one, two, press that, and then you're holding both. And then 10 seconds later, release that, and then you should just like that, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna do it right here for you guys. And ready, set, go. Hold down the power button for three seconds. Without releasing, hold down that. And I'm trying to read it while I'm doing this and then it should go black and then release the power and keep holding the home as it says and then just wait till your iPhone goes or until it does that stuff on there and then your iPhone should go white I'm gonna set that off to the side now it says waiting for reboot you can see that and now um, we're just looking at this stuff, uploading RAM disk and here it goes, it's starting its jailbreaking crap process and I will be back um, when this is done you guys so stay tuned alright guys so as you can see it has finished, done and your iPhone, it should have done some like flashing nor and all that stuff on it but it says done. I just like to, whenever it says done, it's going to say done, and it's going to be, like, flashing everything on here and stuff and doing stuff. I just like to keep it saying done because I'm not sure if 
I should quit the application or not. So now it's safe to quit it. So, and let's see if this worked, you guys. I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to try it right here. And there's City right there. And yeah, that's it. That's all you get. City, yeah. Alright you guys, um, jailbreak, let me see if I can show you guys the firmware here. Uh, general, uh, about, and version there at the bottom, 3.1.3 guys. So, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more jailbreaking and other types of videos. Alright. Peace, you guys.